Hey. Hey, Greg. You awake? Yeah. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? Back then you said you went all crazy. But, like, that's not really a reason, I guess. I was playing that game where you dated ghosts. I remember that one. It had a hot skeleton. Alistair or something like that. Yeah, yeah. You were crushing hard on those dank bones. I was playing it like 24-7. Until this one afternoon. And then suddenly, like, something broke. It was just like, pixels. Your computer broke? No, like, reality broke. The characters on screen. Like, I'd felt like I knew them, but they weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. You said something like that before. And their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had any feelings. They never would exist either. I felt sad. So sad. I just lost these real people and this whole thing we had. It was just me alone. And like that realization like dumped out of the screen and into real life and went outside and went outside to the tree out front. I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Oops, sorry. Now it was just a thing. Just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by. And he was just shapes. Just like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried. Because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe. Just dead. Dude, why didn't you tell me? Alright, that's a pretty elaborate description of depression. Yeah. I don't know. What could I have said? It's all happened the day before that softball game. I mean, I was there in the stands. I watched you do it. I was, I was so scared for you. When Andy stepped up, it was like... And he was just shapes too. Just lines someone wrote. Like nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry and just... I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him. Smashing his face with the bat. Just shapes... Red shapes all over the grass. There wasn't that much blood. Oh, God. I made him bleed all over the place, Greg. I wonder if he wondered why. Like, what he'd done. He was probably an asshole. No, dude. I didn't know him. Neither did you. Well, then you had to go to the therapy. Yeah. Dr. Hank and his journaling. Dr. Hanks messed up one of my tooth fillings. Yeah, he's not good at what he does. Which I guess is understandable because he does, like, everything. He's, he's like, the, the go-to doctor for everything. I meant to ask you, did that journal shit, did it actually work? May is way more fucked up than I actually parsed originally. Before, yeah, yeah. Kinda? Sorta? Because the way they framed it before it was kind of like, oh, she had an argument with someone, then she just well, beat them up. I, I, like, I, like, I always kind of took that like she was like pretty normal, but just has these, not normal, but has these bouts of like, you know, uncontrollable, I don't know what's happening to me kind of moments. But when she, I guess when she breaks it down like that, it's like, whoa, mm. that's bad. Helps me like grab onto things and keep them in one place. Whoa. But since that whole thing happened back then, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes. Just like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while. College is for losers. Dude, <laughs> listen, okay? Sorry, dude. I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. There was a statue of like a founder or something. Really shitty statue. Like all rusty metal. And it was just these shapes. And he was pointing down at me. And I was so... Remember that's the, the thing yep, that you break? Yep, yep, yep. Scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas at once. <laughs> I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. Dude. And 
finally, I got up the courage to leave. And I came home, where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone, and it wasn't just dead shapes watching me. Jeez, dude. Something broke. In my head. In my life. Dude, you should, you should have called me. We could have come and rescued you. Would have, like, kidnapped you. Or... I couldn't call home either. I couldn't even talk to anyone. I don't even know why. I didn't come home for the longest night. I just stayed in my room. In bed. That's, that's horrible, dude. I thought... I thought when I came home... I, I just... I felt safe here. And everything made sense for a few days. And then all this. And... And... Dude... Dude... Shh. You're gonna be okay. I'm scared, Greg. I know, dude. We're all freaked out right now. You need to sleep. I'll be here all night. Yeah, that's, that's. I'll be here all night. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, no, that's a bit more than depression. That's. Uh, that's. Yeah. I don't know. Something else. Yeah. yeah. I was just fucking wandering around. I don't feel confident enough in my assessments to label it. Bye, guys. Love you. The hole in the center of everything. Ah, oh, Simmy. Oh, really? Yep. Finish him. Finish him off. What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk. Talk! Fine. Let's do this. It <laughs> just takes out knives and bats. Holy shit. Nice shot. I wasn't aiming for his shoulder. Ah! You effing shot me! Hey, asshole, get away from her! Three of us. What are you? None of us got bolts sticking out of us. I am gonna fucking fuck you up, fucker. Yeesh. Ah. Ow. <laughs> you okay, dude? What? Hey, jerk. Why the hell are you out here by yourself? all because of me. Oh, yeah, dude. All your fault. You definitely made these dudes creep around following us and, like, kidnapping someone. Maybe I... Yeah, you, you did it. And your effing mind control powers. Dude, come off it. He, it's in my dreams. Dude. Uh, dude. You don't get to do this, okay? I don't get everything that's going on with you. And I'm not saying it's not happening. I believe in you, okay? I, I do. But you don't get to die on me. You are not going to do that to me, okay? Okay. We've been best friends forever. You big dumb idiot, Baka. And even if this was somehow all in your head, which it isn't, I would still back you. To the actual God's honest end. Jeez, me too. Clearly. Clearly, uh, we all would be. I shot a dude for you. Come on. If we keep talking like this, I'm going to cry and... Greg. <laughs> Thank you. Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back up to the mine. Yeah. What do we do? Follow him, I guess. 
How about neither of these things? I, I think they shut her down regardless. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, anyway. <laughs> I bet you like that because that <laughs> you like that a lot because you, you would hate it in a narrative when someone's like, "No, gotta oh, do it myself oh, it's, for no reason." That was one of the greatest sandbags of our time. <laughs> I fuck it, just oh, thank you, thank like you. Like people calling out the protagonist for their bullshit. It's you, we we don't even acknowledge what you just said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You fucking moron. If he's up in the mine, we might be able to corner him and... Tie him up? Or something? Well, not moron, but like, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's like that you clearly, you're making a bad decision. Mm -hmm. We're not even going to entertain it. Can you walk me? I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you out if you need it. Thanks, big guy. All right, let's go die or something. <laughs> but, you know, hopefully that doesn't happen. Let's go just die. Gate's open. Wow, the switch. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. What? We could, like, block it or shut it or something. Aw, oh, dang. You're right. No. He... It, whatever is in there. I have to go down there. Well then. Looks like all of us all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang bang! He shot me down. Bang bang. I hit the ground. Bang bang. That awful sound. Baby, shut me down. Jeez, spooky. I don't think we get to complain about spooky. We left our precious robot <laughs> boy out in the woods. That's spooky. Ah, dude, we created a legend. What are you two even talking about? It's been a weird few days. Yeah, it has. No, that's a, that's a line of dialogue that's specific to that activity, I suppose. Yeah, I think so. Why am I in the lead? Yeah, you seem like you'd be the worst person to be in the lead right now. I should be behind fucking Angie. Yeah. The crossbow should be in the lead. If anything, you you might get hit by the crossbow. If Greg's not on point. Looks like you went took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. You sure we want that to do this? Yeah, man, you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. <laughs> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I don't know what's going to happen down there. All right, then. Down we go together. Oh, that thing looks old. <laughs> They haven't used this mine in, like, a lot of years. It also looks like it's going to hell. Yeah. Generations, even. Are you our tour guide now? Your suffering will be legendary. If we have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop. And I get bored. This... is in the brochure. Elevator. Yeah, going to the hell Satan. Well, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like, you know, it's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically, you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh. I heard something down there. You going to be okay, May? Yeah, I'm alright. We should be quiet. 
Yeah. After a fucking super loud elevator. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be silent terrors. We'll be ghosts. Triple jump. Oh, that's that's what we were doing. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 The light of the cigarette will shine us. Yeah. To the truth. <laughs> Follow the cigarette bright. Cigarette saved our lives. Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. No save points here. Don't even know this song. Yeah, random fucking uh, rhythm track starts playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, and they just shove, like, the bass in her paws. Ah, oh, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. And, like, junk. Oh, God. Oh, God. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh, God. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through there. Like, I don't know about you, if I was any of these characters, I'd be shitting my fucking pants right now. Well, you're an animal, so you'd have no pants to shit. Well, they do. All of them wear pants. Yeah, hey, I wasn't even no, wrong. No, May- wait, yeah, May wears pants, too. I was not even wrong. You weren't even wrong, it's a gameplay mechanic. I know you're in here. I know you're out there. I can feel you. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. You asshole, we're like five times scarier than you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There they are, they're right there. Kill them. Eid, you'll do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me. Then I'd say we're even. Little girl shot it. Little girl got shot the other night. Yeah, sorry, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad. It was a bad call. I'm. I'm sorry. Uh, it's <laughs> okay. Didn't actually hit me. So. Wait. What? What? Who, what, who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnest to protect their own and their neighbors. And why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town. By family relation or by being hard workers. Contributors! Okay. Um, so we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not going to let you leave until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through the shoulder. I don't know if... I don't think he's going to have much say in whatever. Wait. So you think that Eid... He kidnapped that kid at the Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired. Constant headaches. He's been following me. Following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I've seen this. Or I've, I've felt it. It was Ed Scudder and Jim Dory who found it. 20 years back or so. After the West Mine closed out past Brittle. Vesh Schumacher, last supervisor. Was out there when the company locked off the entrance. 
Carved his initials and date in the door. Then you got this mine. The old one. Not even a proper mine. A big hole. Copper. Abandoned shoot long before any of us were born. Too close to water. And that water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right above where we were standing. But that water dried up. 1992 or so, some men from the West Mine come back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator. Got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal. Just dug deeper and deeper. Till Ed busts through and that wall and finds this place. And Jim walks right into that hole. And never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer. Someone else does. And I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams and in waking times. So what brought you down here? So what does this have to do with you or me or anyone? You gotta understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone. Our kids were leaving. Government didn't care. Only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants, while we worked ourselves to death. Oh, here we go. God damn it, I hate this crap. <laughs> it's getting political. Yeah, a little bit. You old dipshits. <laughs> you finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church. But when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Answers. Ed explained to a few folks, and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer. One of these takes a shining to, rubs off on you. You can do things. I never seen it. But they said. Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us into all this, after that first time, after we picked one out, well, not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger. And money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. Picked. First one was Tom Turner, who, believe you me, was a bastard. Just pure trash. We got him down here, and the hole he went. Next week, flowers booming all over the hills. Throw them in the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing. And it's someone's turn to find someone. Yeah. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never pick no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, delinquents. You've been... Oh god, I don't know. Casey? The Hartley kid? All he was going to contribute to society, except a bunch of kids who grown up with no dads, was a rap sheet a mile long. For whatever sad end he would wind up at, we did him a favor. Uh-oh. You... you killed Casey. Oh my god. We don't use that word. You know he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when he was a little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey. And if you want to act like we didn't do them and this whole town a favor? Oh god, Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters! Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg? Sorry. Greg. 
He was my friend. All right, now throw it down. Now, or I will shoot. Yeah. <laughs> what if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang. Bang. You brought guns down here? Dangerous this far out in the woods night. Basic safety. Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Craig. Dang it. You're monsters. None of this... None of this is happening. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Spring survives. Things can get better. Mines are gonna be humming again someday, soon. Old mills puffing smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. It used to be you providing for a family. Brought a, bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at some grocery store. Leaving kids more than they're staying. Kids leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying, houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home become a tumble in pile of wood and plaster? A job become a brick bur a burnt out brick box or a hole in the ground? But we can change that. We can put this place back together. Where it won't just be shapes. I'm gonna die down here. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really? You're like pitching us on this? Were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now? Financially? Like, or is this just some big costume murder party club for someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. <laughs> it does. This is real bad. <laughs> this is insane. Why shouldn't we just call the There's cops? no Wi-Fi signal. <laughs> and say what? You saw some men you can't identify in an abandoned mine behind the locked they gate? They said a bunch of their names. And an elevator that won't run? You saw a hole? Okay, fine. You Why got us. should we help you? Because if no one's here to do this, you remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon, we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. I know you have. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave? No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are out there. But we know who you all are. Ain't fair that they get to leave and I probably get permanent damage. Shut it, Ede. The person I just said their name. You don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is. Ede, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you. But the truth is, I don't trust you. 
Fine, whatever, it's a piece of shit, anyway. Me. <laughs> I can't move, you guys. I'll carry you. My brain is in pieces right now. I'll say. Yeah. It's all just empty. Everything's empty. What are we gonna do? Well, we'll crack that one where we're far away from here. I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. Old, old stuff in here. 